Hello, everyone, and welcome back once again to Gary's Mod. And today, the map we're going to be exploring is GM Buttes. A map so accurately and succinctly titled, you really can't make any jokes about it. Now, it may seem like an endless expanse of desert, but I've been assured that this map is hiding some secrets. And if that's the case, I'm going to get to the bottom of it. Oh, and it seems like there is actually something on the horizon. That smoke immediately catching my eye. Now, part of the reason this map was so intriguing to me when it received such a strong recommendation is because the workshop page only offers about as much information as you see in front of you right now. Just one screenshot of a lonely hut in the middle of the desert. Also, it's different from others that I've explored recently in that it's over a decade old, releasing in November of 2012, which places it essentially in a completely different era of Gary's Mod map making. Even though every map is unique, I feel like each one is also sort of a product of its era. I mean, map making does follow trends, like the recent trend of liminal and exploration-based maps. For a while, it was all RP maps. And so I consider this an opportunity not only to explore whatever secrets this map might hold, but also to potentially poke around in a different mindset. A mindset which, who knows, I might even find familiar. I mean, I was playing this game around that time. By then, not as heavily, but, I mean, it is an era that I'm familiar with. And it seems there is water in this butte, so... At least that's a good thing. At least we won't die of dehydration. A tweed sweater was not the right thing to wear here. Or, sorry, jacket, but come on, it looks like a Christmas sweater. Yep! Huh. Well, anyway, glub, glub, glub. <laughs> sorry, you have to look down into my own neck. Uh, but so far I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, I have a feeling I'm going to be down here for so long, I'm not even bothering with the glub, glub, glub. Uh, that's the island, and ooh, what's that over here? And it's a good thing I can't actually drown, just pretend I'm wearing some kind of scuba gear. Uh, there is not enough underwater exploration in Gary's mod, I may, I may have to get on that and hammer. But there is quite a substantial drop-off here. Is this just the edge of the map, or does this actually hold some kind of secrets? Oh, it actually flattens out. It's just like a carve-out at the bottom here. That's kind of strange. Huh. I can't help but be reminded of GM Abyssal Plain, only uh, down there was a whole lot darker than this. Oh, that's actually kind of weird how the light falls down here. I can't see the light of the surface, but I can see it casting quite clearly on the bottom. Uh, just pretend I have some kind of crazy submarine light on the front of me, I guess. That's so weird. Why is there a trench just running through here? And it ends right here, presumably on the edge of the map. No? Okay, so there's just a weird random canyon in the middle of this. Huh, I did not go in the direction I thought I was going at all. Oh, this thing must actually loop around in like a semicircle. <sighs> yep, didn't find anything useful there. And in spite of all these places we could potentially explore, I think I'm going to head for that hut over there and check on Uncle Owen and Aunt Beru. I've actually come over here because some of these terrain features I'm noticing are actually really strange. That weird trench at the bottom of that lake? Whatever this thing is, just like land brought up in a U-shape? It all seems so random, like, honestly, so far, this all just feels like somebody was messing around with displacements and hammer. And so it's very strange that this was recommended to me so strongly. I mean, it looks like there's some cliffs over there. Maybe there's something in the back of that? Huh. With a transition that rough, I actually expected to hit Skybox, but here we are. Well, it's definitely a rare change in scenery for this map, but there doesn't seem to be anything here. These displacements so harsh. 
I have no idea what kind of secrets this map could possibly be hiding at this point. I mean, it's not like there's anything that could be hiding behind stuff now that we've cleared those mountains. Now, I know there's structures that just look like this in, like, Mexico and the southwestern U.S. and North Africa, but I still can't help but feel like I'm trekking across the desert to deliver a Sith Lord's baby. Well, there's a well right here. How deep is it? Actually, quite deep. Huh, how do you hide something from the horizon? Put it below the ground. Okay, there may be more to this than I was thinking. Uh, let's just have a look inside for Jawas. Huh. And that is something I've neglected to mention up until this point. There is smoke coming from the chimney. A fire going in the fireplace, which does suggest recent habitation. Well, I suppose with water nearby, it's doable? Well, doable perhaps, but given what we just saw in that well, I have to wonder, is this meant to be some place where people live and that fire is going for cooking and keeping warm at night? Or is it meant as a beacon? And this place is like an outpost meant to guard the entrance. Well, we're going to find out, and uh, with how notoriously horrible ladders are in VR mod, uh, we might be taking the fast way down. All right, let's try and do this carefully. <laughs> I'm descending in pitch darkness. Oh, and if I look up, if I try to look up and use the light for comfort, I'll just be forced upward. Does this mean I've hit the bottom? Come on, let me off. Let me off, let me off, let me off, let me off. Okay, but is that it? Uh. uh, gross. It really is just a well? Um, okay, this map came highly recommended by Matthew. He's a friend as well as a mod on the Discord, has appeared in several videos, and, uh, well, I'm saying his name now so that you know who to blame slash acclaim depending on how this goes. This can't be all. Can I, like, interact with this somehow? Maybe, maybe the safety block can have something to say? See, the one thing that's making me think there's more, and these could both be nothing, is the fact that the ladder very clearly is clipping with this. And there's a very distinct seam around the edge of this gross displacement. But I just can't figure out how I would get rid of the soil. I've been all up and down the well and all over this house just looking for like a switch or something that I can use. Just anything that might stand out. But whatever secret this place might be guarding, it's doing a pretty good job of guarding it. And I don't want to resort to noclip just yet. Uh, maybe something to do with the fire? I don't see like a switch or anything. I always hate trying to find help for maps on Steam. Because it's so hard to navigate that it's hard to get the information I want without spoiling it for myself. So what I've done here is I've gone back to the very first comments in the map, and somebody suggested something that is simple and effective. Try dropping some bombs down. So we'll go for it. Let's try a little more. This wishing well might need a little bit of encouragement. And perhaps a couple of these for good measure, since I'm honestly not sure if any of those grenades were reaching the bottom. I think some of them might actually have been being detonated by ones lower in the well. Huh. Well, at least we have some feedback there, and... Is it just me, or does it look like the fire is going more towards this way a little bit? Hang on... Ow. Well... That didn't make it all the way down. You know, it's eerie. That's how my great-granddad died when he was digging a well. well. Let's see if that had any kind of tangible results. It did not, even though at least one of those reached down here. However, 
I did just notice that there's a very obvious seam right here. Does that appear on every wall? It doesn't. There's a seam right there, a seam right here, but not on these. Well, I guess there is one on there, so maybe that doesn't mean anything. I don't know. I saw it move more towards the direction of the mountains, uh, opposite the ladder, so maybe we try it? Yep! No mistaking that. In the flash of the gunfire, we can see very clearly that this is something different. Oh, I feel like Indiana Jones right now, only way less clever. Okay, but I think we'll have to get some explosives down here. The good old-fashioned way. I don't like hearing that ladder moving in the dark, even though I know it's me. Ah. Problem is, that's not really an easy thing to do in VR. So this excavation operation is going to have to start dropping some grenades from right here. Is that even low enough? Oh, that is such a creepy image. I'm still not sure it's reaching the bottom, though. I think I might have heard something else. Okay, let's get away from the wall and get out of no clip. Yep. Sure, okay, just don't grab the ladder. And, oh my god, there is something. Wow, that wall withstood quite a lot of punishment. And I never would have found that on my own if it weren't for that piece of advice. Oh, look at this. Now, I've explored secret underground locations before, but... This one truly does look ancient. Which makes me wonder why it was sealed away in such a nondescript place. And why this guy's well has access to it. I do wonder if that whole place doesn't just exist, like I said, as a marker. So that maybe... Whatever was sealed away down here could be unleashed? Sorry, I'm just immediately going to Mummy's Curse. But I mean, look at this place, how can you not? Uh, this is actually, were it not for the slightly wider hallways, reminding me quite a lot of GM catacombs. And the absolute silence is really weirding me out. All these darkened corridors and blind corners going off into nothing. I keep feeling like I need to check my corners, like there's going to be something waiting for me. I mean, look at that. You know you're down in the depths when you're in such an enclosed, claustrophobic, stuffy space. And yet still the hallways are long enough that your flashlight doesn't reach the end of them. And the knowledge that nobody's been down here for who knows how long. I mean, clearly this place is still suited to life. I mean, the floor is completely grass, actually much greener than the surface. Just all this moss growing on the walls. And it's this irregular architecture, also similar to GM Catacombs, which continues to make me think that this is some kind of tomb. I mean, it's gotta be, right? Oh, come on. See, what I mean by irregular construction is that it almost doesn't seem like it was made by humans. The thought of some ancient people thousands of years ago building this in such a way where each room is varying in size and shape, the hallways too, it makes it seem like it's designed to confuse you, designed to stop you from reaching whatever's at the end. Almost like how the Egyptians designed the interiors of pyramids. Oh no. What was that? I just saw something, like, flash in front of me. You saw it too, right? Uh, it it might have just been my own arms glitching out going through there, maybe some kind of tracking issue, but I swear I just saw something. And I was already on edge. I mean, what is this? There's just that little crawlway that leads to this room that's completely detached from the rest of the facility. Uh, I got a really bad feeling from this place. 
and not having it validated with anything that I know is a scare is really freaking me out, so let's keep going. Actually, wait. Did I come from that way, or did I come from this way? Uh, I'm honestly not sure. No, no, I didn't come from in here. I'm trying to maintain, like, at least a sense of compass directions. Ah, oh, but this place is so wide, yet the ceiling's so short. I almost feel like I have to duck my head down. And the lighting across the ceiling is doing some really weird things, forming these, like, dark streaks that lead to the doorways. There's no way to do this in a linear fashion, no way to reduce it to a loop like I usually try to do. I just have to pick a direction and stick with it for a while. Oh, but, see, normally when I explore places like this, I can pretty early on figure out what the wall of the place is, what the outer edge is, but this... I haven't been able to do that at all. Suggesting that some of these branches can actually go quite far away, and that this whole thing isn't contained within a box. Not only that, but it actually goes even deeper. Okay, there's got to be some way I can, like, mark my path, right? Oh, and the hallways seemingly get narrower. But, wait, that's it? No, it's got to be, there's got to be something through the other one, right? Oh, so many dead ends. I don't know where this is actually supposed to take place, but it, it certainly seems like it's built to, well, entomb grave robbers that come to rob the tomb. I just can't think why anyone would build this. But then again, would it even be possible for, with the technology of the time, to build something this deep? I mean, I suppose layers of sand could have been deposited on top of it through the years, but... I don't know, this whole thing just doesn't feel right. Now it's starting to feel more like GM Catacombs. There's no way I'm going to be able to map this whole place out. I don't think it'll even be clear when I've seen everything. Right now I'm just kind of going with the flow. Will each of these rooms be the same? I'm just waiting for the moment when I stop walking and hear another set of footsteps abruptly stop somewhere else in the place. <laughs> this room widening up was so substantial that I actually felt my heart skip a beat when I came to that wider tunnel. The darkness of it actually jump-scared me. You know, I actually prefer those smaller, more cramped tunnels. I mean, they're horrible. They're the worst. But at least I can see everything. Which is more than I can say for here. Oh, this is just so complex. There's got to be something down here, something that it's leading me towards, right? But there's no way to know if I'm getting closer, farther, if I'm a million miles away, or if it's right around the corner, if I've been close to it and didn't even realize. But I just cannot... I, I can't work out a shape. I can only hold on to my sense of direction. And at this point, I have no idea if even that's still correct. Okay, maybe this is some kind of outer wall? No, no such luck. But yet another ramp that leads downward. At this point, I'm forced to assume that the only measurable sense of progress that I can gauge is how low I've gotten. And you know, a thought just occurred to me, I mean, to think of this in a more realistic sense, 
I haven't been marking my path, I haven't been spray painting the walls, I haven't been dropping glow sticks. Every step deeper I take into this place is another step I'd have to take back. Uh, you know, I, I never understood how the idea of a labyrinth within a pyramid could be so deadly, but experiencing it myself, now I think I do. It's your own hubris that kills you. The more you persevere, the more likely it is that this place becomes your tomb. Hello, windows. Why would a place like this need windows? I mean, there's so much engineering here, I would think of them more as Linux guys. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you have to make jokes to yourself to distract yourself from the fact that you're definitely going to die down here. But it seems like these windows are more a feature of this place. Oh, wait. Is it possible that maybe down here we're more like living quarters? Maybe this isn't actually a tomb. Maybe... I mean, maybe what we're walking through is the remains of, like, some kind of city. Maybe even cities on top of cities. That these are, like, layers of old civilizations that the soil had been piled up on top of. A lot of speculation. Not a whole lot of answers, so long as there's not much down here. No corpses, no furniture, no pottery, nothing. No artwork. Oh, but somehow this is even creepier. It really is like walking city streets. Just with a ceiling low to my head, all in the dark. And not another soul around. You know what I might do? Uh, I might actually do minimal editing on this part, depending on how it goes now that I'm down here. I mean, some of you say that uh, you don't like all the jump cuts. Some of you say that you'd rather sit there and be with me through the whole journey, and believe me, on most maps, that's not worth it. But here, maybe it would actually emphasize the map better if you're actually with me throughout the entire trek through. Down every dead end, down... Uh, seeing every potential shadow moving around a corner. Oh, I think there's another exit at just that angle, but it still freaked me out. If there at any point is some kind of sound, I'm going straight through the ceiling. I won't be able to stop myself, but it seems like we've found another path. I mean, maybe what I should be doing is... I would so quickly lose track, but I was thinking... Keep track of the direction of the previous ramp. But at this point, I don't even remember how many times we've descended. I think this is the third time. I think? It's these shadows that the corners create, too. The only movement I see down here besides myself is the movement of the shadows for my flashlight. Which, in this instance, means that the only movement I see is shadows moving around corners. That's something different. That's something very different. I just got a real sense of vertigo looking over that edge. <laughs> this is when... This is the moment when I turn around and just see a couple of bony, ancient arms pushing me downward. I wonder what this is all about. Last time there was more at the bottom of the pit, but... Well, maybe this is the true bottom of the well? I don't know. I'm gonna continue exploring this floor. Maybe there's something more for us to see. Because we did discover that actually very, very close to the ramp which does not seem to jive with this map's design philosophy. Maybe I'm just seeing things, but that wall pattern looks a little different from what else we've been seeing. 
As long as I don't go down any further ramps, well, we shouldn't have any issues with finding our way back to that thing. Now that was weird. Uh, again, I'm seeing things, but it looked like I actually saw something in white move around that corner. But it would seem that this... Did I just hear something over there, or is that somebody doing something somewhere in my house? It almost sounded like a chair dragging on a floor or something. Okay, if that's not in the recording, that means that something's going on here. Uh, which is fine, because people are home, but... Yeah, this place is every bit as extensive as the other floors. And we're moving so far. I'm noticing we're moving very far in this direction. And these spaces are widening up considerably. Okay, I'm gonna start running. Ooh. Like walkways, bridges, and a great doorway. Oh, this is starting to be so cool. I, I haven't been this excited for a map in a long time. Because I really feel like I'm doing, like, archaeology right now. Uh, it's, it's almost like a somewhat more realistic version of what I felt on GM Catacombs. And by the way, like, I know I keep saying that, but that is real high praise to be compared to that. There's not so much in all these mazes, but you know what? It, it makes it feel all that much more rewarding when you do come across this stuff. Maybe from here we can make our way, yes. Yes, but this probably puts us technically on the previous floor, right? Well, imagine if we saw some shadow figure walking in parallel across the farthest bridge. Not here when we got back. So these aren't necessarily all connected. Or at least in a very roundabout way. Can we use this to get beyond the wall, perhaps? Or the door? There's got to be something to that, right? I mean, I'll be honest. If I didn't find anything else, I was just going to hurl myself down that pit and see what happens. But if this continues in this direction, yeah. Oh, but it would seem this is as far as we go. Oh, it's double doors like an airlock. Maybe we can get through by going the opposite way? I will cut, like, backtracking and stuff, although eh, there may still be a fair amount in here since I can't always tell what backtracking is. But no, it seems like when I try to go in a direction, I just can't seem to maneuver that way. And we find ourselves just going back here. See, I want to stick to landmarks. I want to believe that these mean something. But I just can't figure out how to make progress stick. Uh, we've made it back to here. Well, I think we more or less came from this way, right? So, uh, I'm still just confused about how to progress. I mean, maybe we want to get... Maybe we want to get along this back wall, and then... Uh, I just can't move in the directions that I want to move. Wait. Uh, it does actually react to me grabbing it. I mean, locked, of course, but... I mean, hey... Explosions worked before, why not now, right? Eh, well, I guess the ancients were made of sterner stuff. Uh, maybe I'm really worried that I'll have to go up more levels in order to figure that out. I mean, it does seem like it comprises those last two levels, this one and the one above us. So maybe we can find that ramp again? Uh, thus further emphasizing that I couldn't get out if I tried. But at this point, that's not what I'm trying to do. Well, we find ourselves back down here again, and man, even GM Catacombs was distinct enough that I could usually, a after about an hour or two of playing, figure out roughly where I was. This? I just have to remember what floor I'm on. That's the best I can do. 
I'm really dreading the idea that there could be something that I need to do even farther up. Like, there's got to be some kind of secret switch somewhere. Oh! Oh, there's a button right here! Okay, I was searching in this area because I knew it had to have something to do with this. Oh my god, I never would have seen that if I didn't happen to glance to the side when my light was falling over it that way. Okay, my god. I even tried checking Steam again, but uh, it was just a bunch of jokes I don't get about the name. Oh, but... That only opens the one gate. Not the other. Oh, well. <laughs> well, mystery solved. Come on. Hello? Hello? This one doesn't want to work. Okay, but if we close that, right? And uh, then we can... Oh, I see. It's an airlock. We can only open one at a time. Well, that sort of makes sense. However, uh, we don't have a buddy to do this one with, so we're just going to have to pretend that it works. So let's close this one. Open this one. And get ourselves down there. Yep, there we go. We did it. We are a real archaeologist. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting, but it sure wasn't this. Uh, this is the moment where the three heads of Cerberus pierce the darkness and begin chasing me, pinning me against that closed gate. Oh man, the owner of this place is going to be so happy he can list this as square footage. Now this probably leads up to the other gatehouse. Although, ah yes, there's a similar pair of buttons here. So you could do it like this. There's just no way to get down here without opening that gate. Right? Unless, unless maybe there's some way to get through here from the middle. Hang on. Uh, maybe one of these walls breaks down or something, I don't know. But the point is, we're here now. Oh, I did not expect it to be continuing this far. Especially since we've presumably been weaving around this thing on all three levels. But that's all. Ah, oh, talk about an Al Capone's vault! That's all there is at the end of this? I mean, it's quite a huge find, nevertheless, but... My god, you're really gonna do that to me after all this? That doesn't look like there's any additional doors, either. I'll tell you what, let's get a couple of lights in here. The brightest they come, uh, because we don't want to have uh, a whole ton of these things, they do impact performance considerably. And yeah, whew. I actually just got scared by the model of the light moving across the ground like a mouse droid. I mean a mouse. Now, it really doesn't seem like there's anything here that is so surprising. Although I will have a look at another easter egg that I happened to come across uh, while I was looking for information. Although that, too, might be a little bit on the difficult side to locate. Actually, based on what I read about it, I think this would actually be a pretty good thing to integrate with our noclip run. So let's do that. Fly on out of here. Ooh. Uh, thankfully, it seems like this lighting is actually illuminating other chambers as well. Thank you, Gary's Mod Jank. For once, you're actually helping me out. Uh, maybe we'll place a few more of these things around so we can actually see the rest of the place. Uh, probably the second floor would be the best place to do that. So let's put this one right here. Oof. That is so weird, but we are illuminating this for noclip. Wow. Even if I had tried to noclip to, like, cheat this thing, I still wouldn't have been able to navigate. Uh, maybe one over here-ish. That looks good. Uh, we're unraveling this slowly. It's almost like some kind of poor man's LIDAR. Uh, sorry if this is causing the frames to drop for you. Now what about over here? There we go, and wow. This is really starting to paint a picture of just how complex this whole thing was. 
Actually, wait, that, that doesn't look right. Hang on. There's actually two pits. Hang on, how does that make sense? Because I, hmm, this one is like encased in this thing. And this thing down in the, down in the window area in the village. Oh, on the, okay, on the second floor down, it looks like one, two, three, four floors of this. There was a pit here that I just never came across. Uh, once we pull back like this, we're definitely able to paint a picture where it's honestly a wonder I was able to find some of this stuff as fast as I did. Oh, and it means my conception of where this was in relation to everything was totally wrong. Oh, this is a crazy, crazy map. That doorway almost looked like the shadow of some cloaked figure standing in the corner. Oh, we are shedding light on this, I tell you what. Hmm, there's something here as well. What is this? Oh, we never came across this pit either. Oh, and this must be on the first of four floors. Okay. But yeah, this post I read said that there was some kind of Easter egg in the area with all the windows. So I'm kind of no-clipping around, and I don't really see anything, even in spite of the clearest picture anybody's ever going to get of this place. Look, there's a little spot where we could have... Ooh, wait, maybe... Maybe that's actually it. Hang on, let's uh, go through here. It doesn't look like it's actually that far from the ramp itself. Uh, the atmosphere has degraded significantly since I made my renovations, but... Hang on. Ooh. Okay, that jump scared me, especially since I touched the side of my bed as I crawled through, but look. There's actually some kind of button, and these Breen statues are flickering in and out of existence. Alright. What did that do? So that was GM Buttes. And it was so much more fun than I would have expected to have, even if you'd told me what it was. But honestly, it's so much better that I didn't know what it was. This is a map that I totally would have glossed over if it hadn't been for the recommendation. Lots of maps have secrets, but this is the only one I've seen where not only is the secret so much more complex and involved than the surface level map itself, it's actually a really well-kept secret. There's just barely enough going on on the surface that it could be mistaken for a minimal map that's meant for, like, cinematics or building. And the secret itself is so hard to access. I mean, even when I knew it probably had something to do with that well, even though I knew how to vaguely access it at a certain point, it still took some effort. And it was only by chance that I spotted what I was supposed to do in the end. And the thing is, even if the creator, I found out this is actually the same creator as GM Big City, even if that deep well, even if the file size tips you off that there's got to be more to this, once you find it, there's still difficulty there. You find this seemingly empty and cookie-cutter space, an endlessly repeating maze, only if you stick with it, you'll start to realize it's not just endlessly repeating. I was prepared to be disappointed once I finally got down here because I thought it was just some labyrinth. But the thing is, through its difficulty and through its darkness, it rewards you for persevering. Well, kind of. I still kind of wish there had been more in that throne room at the end for all the effort I had to invest to find it. But who knows, maybe it's there for you to put your own stuff in it. It does look like quite a good spot for a bone throne, although quite far from the nearest Burger King. In the beginning, I was speculating that something this deep must be like a tomb or something. And I suppose that could still be the case, but it was just so eerie and yet so fascinating when I discovered that area with all the windows. And it just seemed like, well, it seemed like I was walking not through something that was always underground, 
but something that may have once been full of life. And it almost made me wonder if some of that former life wasn't watching me do it. It's just, every time it shows you something new, even if it's something small like a ramp or a window in the wall when they weren't there before, it, it encourages you to keep going. I realized at the end there that even if I had tried to no-clip, I wouldn't have been able to find my way around. All of this is so big and so complex and so layered and so dark that even when flying around without some kind of light to illuminate these tunnels, it's just totally useless. You need to get in there for yourself. Oh, wow. And I had never noticed before just how deep this thing actually is underground. Oh, man. I really do have to wonder with this ladder being here if this guy doesn't actually know what he's sitting on top of. Maybe some kind of guardian with the position passed down through the generations? Well, in any case, it's very clear that even for as large as this appears on the surface, it's even larger beneath. And I like big buttes, and I cannot lie. And if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this map out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Somehow it's even creepier with a light from below.